Today I'm in um, a village outside of Mykolaiv, um, which was on the front line. And as you can see, the destruction was complete. Most of these, I mean, I think all of these houses have been flattened, as you can see all around you. And despite this, despite the, the destruction, people are coming back. There's now 50 people living in this village. If you look over this way, um, it was the Russian front line and uh, shells were coming into this, this village. So this is really like the, I guess, ground zero for um, the attack. Like a lot of the shells hit people's homes. You can see this is obviously somebody's kitchen. The destruction is absolutely massive, it's huge, and yet people want to come back. People want to come back to their houses and they want to live in their houses. And so to help people rebuild, we're distributing roofing um, so that people can replace the roofs on their houses. And we're also uh, distributing uh, heating briquettes, so, so fuel, so that people can keep warm inside the houses as they rebuild them. Um, and I think what's so inspiring, but also, it's, I mean, it's just mind blowing how resilient people are, that they're willing and they're brave enough to come back to these villages that are completely destroyed and start rebuilding despite the fact that there's no jobs, they can't farm um, anymore because there's mines in all of the fields around here, their tractors are destroyed, they really have nothing and yet all they want to do is come back and start rebuilding. They don't want to live off charity, they want to be independent and they want to start their lives again.